Hi, this is Chris from Green Feathers, and today I want to introduce you to our hedgehog house and our hedgehog feeder. Now, we're one of the few companies online that do a house and a feeder, and the reason for that is, unlike teenagers, hedgehogs don't tend to like to eat and sleep in the same area. So we have a house for sleeping and hibernating and breeding and uh, a feeding station that's away from the sleeping and bedroom area. Now I'm going to take you through the features of the, both these boxes. They're very similar in their construction, both made here in the UK using um, stock board for the roof and uh, F FSC wood pine for the main part of the body. Now, the stock board is 100% recycled plastic as I said and that makes it fully waterproof. We've got a good overlap on the lip of the box to make sure it stays waterproof and damp free inside. Underneath the ridge here you can see that there's, a, there's lines cut into the board and what that does is uh, if you do get rain on the roof, as it runs over the edge and hits the groove, it will then drop straight to the floor and not make the inside of the box damp. Now on the back here, I don't know if you can see, we've got really robust hinges to give you the most, uh, the, the biggest, longest life that you can get out of these boxes. Inside, you've got your entrance hole on the side here. That's a standard 13 centimeter hole. And then you've got the zigzag as you come in the entrance area and that stops any predators being able to get their paws or noses in there to affect the hedgehogs when they're sleeping. The main area itself uh, is a really good size. Uh, we recommend if you are buying our box or someone else's, make sure you can get three loaves of bread in there. That's a good indication to make sure you've got plenty of space for uh, a, a single or a couple of hedgehogs in your box. On the front, as we clip it down, we also put this safety clip on the front. So it's got a latch initially which does keep it nice and sturdy but for additional safety for the hedgehogs inside we provide a carabiner clip which clips across the front and keeps them really really safe underneath uh, we're using a waterproof or weatherproof uh, board an ocb board which stops any uh, rising damp into the box um, and then it's got two feet one slightly higher than the other to provide a small tilt so that if it does rain the water will run off the side uh, but that gives you the best chance to make sure you don't get rising damp in the box when you're positioning these we do advise to try and put them on if you can put some gravel or some stone down or at least keep it in a relatively dry area you'll get more years out of your box by doing that um, and the, the hedgehogs inside will stay nice and dry moving on to the feeder very similar construction uh, on this one you can see it's got this stave which keeps the lid open for when you're replenishing your food. And when I tip it up here, you can see we've got two entrances, one on the left, uh, one on the left and one on the right. Again, that same configuration zigzag to make sure the predators can't get in. And also importantly, cats, um, you know, cats, tiny, tiny cats can get in, but most cats won't be able to get through that. And again, keeping the food in there safe and making sure the hedgehogs are getting more from the food than the cats. The area in the middle, is clear and that's if in case there are any spillages hedgehogs tend, do tend to spill their water and their food on the floor so you don't want that sitting on wood and uh, creating mold and stuff inside the box again the stave pop the stave down pop the lid down and the hedgehogs are safe inside there's a couple of extra things you can get for this box firstly we do additional tunnels uh, where you can pop that along the side and it just provides that additional amount of safety for the hedgehog pop a little stone on top and they've got a nice entrance and again makes it much safer for them to be able to enter the box these tunnels come will go on either side um, and you can add it to the house as well they're not always necessary but they do provide that additional bit of safety if you happen to have a dog or uh, other predators in the area finally i wanted to point out our green feathers bracket so we do a corner bracket which you can install into either of these units and that will take a camera on and that gives you the very, very best view possible from your Green Feathers camera to be able to see what the hedgehogs are up to when they're eating and sleeping. That's it from me today. Um, hope you've got all the information you need from these boxes. If you do need any more information, jump on our website or get in touch with our team. We'll be happy to help. All the best. See you on the next video.